Hi, this is Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, I wanted to call your attention in the midst of all this chaos from this week to a set of words we keep hearing from not only the president, but a number of people in the government. They keep talking about all Americans in Afghanistan who want to come home. We will get you home, said President Biden about a week ago. If you want to get home, we will get you home. Now, I'm going to presume that the vast majority of Americans in Afghanistan want to get out of that country. There may be a few people who want to stay and work with the people there or the Taliban or see what happens or have reasons for staying, but I think we can safely assume the vast majority of Americans want to leave. So when they keep saying it that way, it sounds like they're about to have an excuse for after August 31st. Well, the ones we didn't get out maybe didn't want to leave, or we didn't think they wanted to leave. Remember that for days, the State Department told Americans to go to the airport, then don't go to the airport, then go to the airport, then don't go to the airport. It was very confusing. And for many days before that, they listened to their own president say that the Taliban would not overrun the country, that the Afghan army would stand up, that there was plenty of time. So they've heard a lot of conflicting and confusing uh, advice and information from their president and from many other people. Uh, plus, we also know that during all this time, the Taliban were jamming or taking down cell towers, so there was not always internet access for Americans in Afghanistan to get the latest news or the latest guidance from the State Department. In a few days, there will be a lot of finger pointing, and there will still be Americans in Afghanistan. And what I'm worried about is that those words are a kind of legalese loophole. Well, we got the Americans out who wanted to get out, the ones who are still there. Oh, no, 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 we didn't fail. They didn't want to leave, or it was their fault for not leaving. I hope I'm wrong about this, but I think that's what's coming. And we're going to be talking about all the latest developments in this story and all the news of the day and the week, 4 to 7 on 550 and 107.1 KTSA. And, of course, you can find our show anytime on demand on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.